Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Martin. Welcome to another money box update. This is the six month update. I said when I did the three month update, I'll do another one every three months and um, we'll get to a year eventually and I might I might stop it, I don't know. But currently there's £688 in my ISO, which is pretty darn good if I say so myself. You can see it on screen just there. Um, that's where I have allocated my money, so it's quite... Um, I wouldn't say it's completely risk averse, but somewhere in the middle, obviously, current market position right now overall for quite a lot of things is currently down. Um, I believe highest I've been, obviously, because it fluctuates a lot, but I haven't really been at the steady 3% gain that I wanted to be um, to beat interest, or sorry, not interest, to beat inflation. Um, you can see my current weekly average I put into the account is £21.17 overall so far, so that's pretty decent if I say so myself. Divide that by 7, was that 7 14 21 about 3 3 4 pounds a day I'm putting into, into the account. Um, you know, which if it adds up over the course of the year, it will add up. Um, obviously the limit has been changed because we passed... Um, we passed April, I'm not too sure if we passed April last time I made it, I don't have a bloody clue. Um, but no, just saying, literally everything has stayed the same um, throughout my experience throughout the application. I don't believe um, the fees have changed in any way. I know they've added a few more, Moneybox have added a few more features, such as Moneybox Plus. They've put that into play where basically you can get extra rewards and everything. If you spend X amount of money, you'll get um, X percentage of that chucked into your Moneybox account as like a thank you for partnering with Moneybox Um throughout that part of the company as you see on screen now um, just reward cards for spending X amount of money at the shop etc so you know little incentives um, incentives to spend of course but obviously that's kind of how they how they how they um, tie people into spending money is you know uh, saving money equals spending even though you have to spend to save it's a bit of a weird correlation but um, overall the blog um, I read a couple of blog posts they're very high quality um, I do enjoy reading them a lot, but apart from that, it's not really else, but not really much else apart from a review standpoint. Um, obviously, you can see my monthly, or oh, sorry, my yeah, well, my monthly um, contributions to it. Um, currently down 0.5% as of this footage being recorded, and I think we're going to cut away just to have a quick, um, a quick look in detail about some thoughts I have on the application. Okay, so moving on to some analysis on my end about Moneybox and how they've been doing as a business. Um, it's, it's always because it's always really good to see um, how these guys are doing because obviously we're investing money in their platform, we're trusting our capital in their platform and um, obviously they're then gaining something off of us in their fees, even though their fees are very low. Like you, you, you would have seen on the um, on, on on the on the picture beforehand uh, on the video beforehand sorry that like i paid like two pound in fees in the course of like six months of using the application which is brilliant um because obviously that then trades off with how much money i can potentially make uh, if the market decides to go up um in the medium term um so this gentleman here uh ben stanway uh moneybox co-founder obviously this was obviously article wrote about these people and the answers these people have given so um so i see i see fidelity mentioned here which is always very nice to see some big names um the big names uh you know combined or, or working with these um smaller smaller firms such as moneybox and uh, they raised 14 million pounds in a series b investment round led by eight roads um i mean i suppose series b literally just means the second round of investment um, I, I suppose, I suppose, uh, yeah, that, that's, I, I read it just there. Uh, um, Series B financing is the second round of financing for a business through any type of investment, including, yeah, including private equity investors. So just, so, so Moneybox have just gone through, well, a few months ago, just gone through um, Series B investment, where they raised £14 million. Pounds. That's a very, very good idea. See a little statistic down here, the average Moneybox c uh, customer Invest twenty pound a week through a combination around us. We can deposit, payday boost, and one-off top up, top ups. That's literally exactly how much I put in a week, which is very interesting to see. Um, so since they're releasing, they've raised twenty one point three million, and with so obviously that means what seven million they raised first. So they've doubled their investment, or oh, sorry, doubled their capital raised um, since the first investment, which is always good to see that more people are investing more capital. Um, 
and they get attention from people like Fidelity, which is always good. Um, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was how they're how they're dealing with media recently, um, and by how they're dealing with media, I mean like what they're what they're uh, producing. Um, so they have they have a little podcast called called Millennial Money Matters. I assume either sponsored by um, or created by the people at people at Moneybox. Yeah, it's just cool. They've done there's done 19 episodes. Unfortunately, the last one came out 10 months ago, so maybe they've stopped it. Uh, they don't seem to do it that much. Hey, I mean, yo, guys, if you want to bring the series back, I will happily host. I will happily <laughs> do something like that because, yo, this is this is a good. You put you put some more time into it. Um, I assume they sponsored this. I'm not too sure. Oh no, told a lie. It's just, it's just this. It's just this platform called Altfire. I assume it's just there. I assume it's just their money matters. Well, regardless, hey guys, you talk, you know, link, link up. We can link. I'll host it happily. <laughs> I thought it was, um, I thought it was, I thought it was like sponsored by Moneybox. Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, it's good, it's good to see that Moneybox, well, if we head on over to the Radio 4 website, um, BBC Radio 4, everyone knows it, everyone likes it. Um, Moneybox has, um explored uh media in a way and by explored media i mean they they release blog posts all the time you would have seen on the little footage from the application um they have they have uh, their youtube channel which if we go and have a look at we head over if we just type in youtube money box oh look at that look who's look, look who pops up <laughs> i pop up before the channel that's stupid <laughs> but no we head over to the money box youtube channel man that's been very slow for some reason i don't like it come on speed up but yeah we can see they do they do post a lot of content um 1200 subscribers just a few hundred more than me um however they do they do release some some uh, content very relatable back to the consumer that they're dealing with obviously people inside of Moneybox um they may not be like chucking in ten thousand pound a week there's just, just small change chucking all chucking in all the time which is a video here that nearly has a million views um literally that prefaces obviously this video was um advertised obviously um because it's 20 seconds of course but uh this dude then just goes to explain uh, about about it and everything but this sort of content nice short content from the founders themselves it's always good to see startup um companies like this one maybe it's moved on from a startup startup into something a bit bigger now but back then definitely it was good to see uh why they were doing their own content um and stuff like that so it's always always nice to see uh, they have videos that have got near the two million views um i suppose the channel what has four or five million views in total i suspect Oh, okay. A bit more than that. 17 million total channel views. Um, pretty crazy. Fair play to them. Um, we head over to their website, which I can do so quickly with that link. How very helpful. Um, we can see they've obviously just chucked some... Uh, just got better, better, better functionality on the website. They exp very, very um, easily explain everything. And then obviously they include... Uh, they're very, they're very community-driven, which is what I like to see. Um... On the YouTube channel, they had people, they had community members uh, making videos about it, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. So, um, but no, definitely the, um, definitely Moneybox are your typical startup environment. And I hope they stay in the lane of a typical startup in the fact of they're very consumer driven. They're very customer driven. They like to interact and, you know, I, I don't want to see them turn into like a huge, obviously they want, I want them to be a huge corporation, um, but then at the same time, I don't want them to turn into so such such huge um, name that they don't they don't like care to, about their uh, clients one on one. Um, which any interaction I've had with staff, I felt like has been a proper connection one on one with the team. So I mean, fair play to them. Uh, they can definitely you know string together some positive customer uh, relations, which is always good to see. I think in general the. The business is flowing well for them from what i've read about it from what i've, I've dug deep into into their ethics and whatever and everything seems to be good um 
because it's what I tend to do in my spare time is just d digging the businesses so um, uh, startups especially it's always good to see how startups are doing um, but being, being a client of them for, for a little while now um, I'm very happy with how it's gone and I'm very happy with how it's develop developed from my three month to six month experience they don't really have any negatives um, sometimes the application runs slow but that could be just a problem on my end probably is a problem on my end to be fair so that's 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 me having to nitpick to find a negative so when it gets to that point you know there isn't many negatives um but no, overall i do highly recommend moneybox i think they're a solid um a solid solid people to chuck some money into and to let them manage your money for you because obviously it's just based on indexes and that sort of stuff so it's not overly complicated but then they manage it for you so it's not so much um, active as 100% more passive investing so but no hey guys if you want if you want some blog posts written I do have um I do have a few blog posts written on YY clothing uh, or just why not YY clothing anymore just why why I have 10 blog, blog posts guys you want to like hop over have a little look um yeah man it's, <laughs> it's good it's good to have a look but um no I'm joking I'm joking I'm not joking but no definitely um overall i think if you would if you if you do have any concerns just hop on it chuck chuck a little bit of money in it obviously they have very quick withdrawals very easy withdrawal process um i don't, I don't think there's any reason not to invest with, with these guys really my only concern is how they scale as a business um obviously being a startup they've, they've only had two rounds of investing the first round of investing obviously went very well, seven, eight million pounds, and then the second round went even better. But depending on their goals now, because the third round of investing seems to always be the problem that businesses face, because it's sc scaling up from one to two is piss easy for any business to do. Very easy. Scaling up from two to three, there's going to be much higher risk involved um, because you've already built the one to two. And then going from two to three, you have the possibility to go back down from zero, where if you went from one to zero, you haven't really lost much. So it's kind of that premises. They have they have a lot more to lose now, um, and they possibly could lose by making a poor wealth management decision by partnering with um, a not so great um, company, for example, or you know doing something dodgy. I don't know. But there's any there's several hundred reasons why it could go bad for several startups. That do similar things like this but um be from the uk and knowing that this is a uk business i hope that you know it's it's all good for them in the future and hey if you want to offer off me any sort of work i'm, <laughs> I'm down hit me up um e emails emails in the about section <laughs> but no so overall very happy with the experience if you did enjoy please leave a like comment down below your experience with moneybox your experiences with Moneybox, sorry, if you have any yourself. And um, if you're feeling a bit anxious with it, just chuck a tiny bit of money in it, see how their system works and like the sort of returns and whatever. Because um, you've seen the sort of fees that were taken out from me um, with nearly a grand in the account, which is like there's not, not many fees, so or not much fees involved, so it's all good. Yeah, so uh, leave a like, comment down below, start a discussion, always happy to get involved with a discussion. Um, check out all the links in the description below for some funky, funky books. And yeah, have a good day, enjoy your trading, stay safe, and peace.